Welcome back, Ink Chasers, to another Q&A video. I'm pretty excited about this one. This is a story that I've heard uh, many times my entire life. My dad has told me this story over and over and over, mainly because he was at the first game. So, um, to get right into it, it is over uh, pitcher David Clyde. Uh, David Clyde was born April 22, 1955, and made his Major League debut on June 27, 1973, just 20 days after his last high school um, game. <clears throat> Sorry. He was drafted number one overall in the 1973 draft by the Texas Rangers. Uh, the Rangers planned to pitch him his first two games home and then send him down to the uh, minor leagues to, you know, to develop. Um, on the, his, the game of his first, or the day of his first start, the Rangers actually sold out their old stadium and was the first time ever it was sold out. Matter of fact, the game was delayed. Now, I, I couldn't find an actual record of how long it was delayed. My dad says he thought it was two hours, but he was at the game, so I, I don't know. That was in 73, so I was, it was you know years before I was born. Anyway, um, it was delayed because the line was so long for fans trying to get in the stadium that they wanted to be sure everybody got in to be able to see it. Um... <clears throat> He he did win his first game. After he started off uh, pretty rocky, but he won the first game. And then um, the Rangers loved the the draw so much. Instead of sending him down, they kept him up, and he uh, began to have some some control issues. He ended the season with a five point one ERA in uh, nineteen or in eighteen games. <clears throat> In 1974, he started developing shoulder issues where they uh, sent him down to the minors to try and then work things out. Um, and uh, I think he did come back up for 1975 for like one start and got hurt again. So after um, three years in the, in the minors that he was traded in 1978 to Cleveland, where he pitched up and came up and down throughout for two years, but never could overcome his injuries, um, and ended up retiring. Um, he uh, basically became the poster child for um, you know working your way through the minors, not getting promoted too early. Uh, he ended his career in with uh, five seasons pitched in the in the majors. Uh, he had a 18 and 36 record for, and pitched 84 games. He had 228 strikeouts and an ERA of 4.63. Now he, like I said, he was the number one pick overall. He was coined as the next Sandy Koufax. Everybody was looking forward to seeing him. He just, uh, promoted too soon and got hurt trying to, you know, Trying to do the majors too soon. Here is a signed card that I have of him. This is the 1975 Tops. Um, he did uh, fill out my questionnaire and signed, dated it. It was uh, June 24th, 2011. So I will get right to the questions. Number one. What was your favorite stadium that you had played in? Fenway Park. Who was the inspiration for you to play baseball? My dad. If you were not playing, what would you be doing for a living? Coaching. Now, I'm going to stop here for a second because that is what he's doing now. He's going, he's coaching and he's going around to different schools and teaching um, other coaches and um, other kids about pitch counts and he, he's going around trying to teach on his mistakes even though it really wasn't his mistakes it was more the Rangers mistakes but uh, 
He's going around spreading the word. Uh, number four. When you were not playing, what would you do in your free time? Hunt, fish, play golf. Number five. What was your favorite book? Anything by Tom Clancy. Number six. What, if anything, do you collect? Now, this one, I'm seeing coins. My wife, she says it looks like cows. So whenever we do the slow roll, I'll let you... Let me know down below what you think it says. Um, <clears throat> number seven. Who taught and helped you the most become a pro ball player? My dad. What was your favorite team to play for? Texas Rangers. We only had two to choose from. And they did uh, mess with him. <laughs> Who is or was your favorite player? Sandy Koufax. Number 10. What was your most memorable game? Now this one's a pretty long answer. And it's not what I would expect. Most people would say their first game. But it wasn't. Pitching against the Yankees in Yankee Stadium in 1978. On last week of the season was leading one to nothing going into the eighth and was removed Yankees had to win just to tie Boston and have playoff I get no decision as Yankees came back and won then Boston oh then beat Boston in playoffs so his most memorable game was one where he was winning and was taken out of the game and then got a no decision because they lost. All right, and here's the slow roll. And like I said, let me know what you think about number six here and see what, uh, what you think he says. Right there. Does that say coins, cows? What does that say? <laughs> Try and get that all in there so you can see that one. And then the signature and date. Alright, let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.